Hello, welcome to Dermatology or Incumentary System MCQ series. Let's move to our first question. Where are the sebaceous gland found? Option A in the digestive system. Option B in the hypodermis. Option C in the dermis. Option D in the striatum corneum. And the answer is Option C in the dermis. Moving to our second question, when a medicine is delivered by a patch attached to the skin, it is said to be delivered. Option A, transdermally. Option B, subcutaneously. Option C, tropically. Option D, intramuscularly. And the answer is Option A, transdermally. Moving to our third question, what is the protein that fills the outermost dead cell of the epidermis? Option A, Granstein. Option B, Dermin. Option C, Melanin. Option D, Keratin. And the answer is Option D, Keratin. Moving to our fourth question. What is the name given to the most superficial layer of the increment? Option A, Striatum corneum. Option B, Papillary dermal layer. Option C, Striatum lucidum. Option D, Superficial fascia. And the answer is Option A, striatum corneum. Moving to our fifth question, which layer of the increment contains rapidly dividing carotenoids? Option A, striatum lucidum. Option B, papillary dermal layer. Option C, striatum germivinium. Option D, reticular dermal layer. And the answer is Option C, striatum germivinium. Moving to our sixth question, on which part of the increment is the most of the body's normal flora located? Option A, dermis. Option B, epidermis. Option C, microdermis. Option D, hypodermis. And the answer is Option B, epidermis. Moving to our seventh question, which cell type produces a pigment that affords the skin some protection against ultraviolet radiation? Option A, keratinocytes. Option B, melanocytes. Option C, dermocytes. Option D, Merkel cells. And the answer is Option B, melanocytes. Moving to our eighth question, which skin layer is the most superficial? Option A, striatum lucidum. Option B, striatum corneum. Option C, papillary dermal layer. Option D, reticular dermal layer. And the answer is Option B, striatum corneum. Moving to our ninth question, which glands secrete oil into the hair follicle? Option A, apocrine. Option B, eccrine. Option C, cruneus. Option D, sebaceous. And the answer is Option D, sebaceous. Moving to our 10th question, which layer of the skin is the most superficial? Option A, epidermis. Option B, dermis. Option C, papillary dermal layer. Option D, striatum gemividium. And the answer is... Option A, epidermis. Moving to our 11th question, what do the apocrine gland of the skin secrete? Option A, apocrine. Option B, serumin. Option C, milk. Option D, sweat. And the answer is... Option D, sweat. Moving to our 12th question. Another name for oil gland in skin is... Option A, sebaceous gland. Option B, eccrine gland. Option C, merocrine glands. Option D, apocrine gland. And the answer is... Option A, sebaceous gland. Moving to our 13th question, sudiferous glands are also known as Option A, crine or apocrine gland. Option B, sebaceous or oil gland. Option C, circuitous or apocrine gland. Option D, mammary or eccrine glands. And the answer is Option A, eccrine or apocrine glands. Moving to our 14th question, which is the outermost layer of the skin? Option A, dermis. Option B, epidermis. Option C, striatum lucidum. Option D, reticular dermal layer. And the answer is... Option B, epidermis. 
Moving to our 15th question, what is the most common protein in the epidermis? Option A, elastin, option keratin, option C, melanin, option D, cholesterol. And the answer is option B, keratin. Moving to our 16th question, what is the fibrous protein in our skin that protects it from abrasion? Option A, melanin, option B, keratin, option C, sebum, option D, elastin. And the answer is option B, keratin. Moving to our 17th question, which is the deepest layer of the ingredient? Option A, the epidermis. Option B, the dermis. Option C, the striatum corneum. Option D, the papillary dermal layer. And the answer is Option B, the dermis. Moving to our 18th question. What is the secretion produced by sediferous gland? Option A, sweat. Option B, sebum. Option C, curmin. Option D, microcaine. And the answer is Option A, sweat. Moving to our 19th question, which of the following situation could produce life-threatening fluid loss and infection? Option A, stomach ulcer. Option B, full thickness skin burn. Option C, severe muscle tear. Option D, displaced bone fracture. And the answer is Option B, full thickness skin burn. Moving to our 20th question, which layer of the increment is the most superficial layer? Option A, hypodermis. Option B, striatum gelinosum. Option C, striatum corneum. Option D, reticular dermal layer. And the answer is Option C, striatum corneum. Moving to our 21st question, which is the most superficial layer of the increment that also has capillaries, lymphoid and sensory neurons? Option A, reticular dermal layer. Option B, papillary dermal layer. Option D, striatum gelinosum. Option D, striatum lucidum. And the answer is... Option B, papillary dermal layer. Moving to our 22nd question, what purpose is vitamin D or calcitriol used for? Option A, required for several stages of hemostasis. Option B, required for uptake of calcium from the gut. Option C, required for erythropoiesis. Option D, required for uptake of intrinsic factor. And the answer is... Option B, required for uptake of calcium from the gut. Moving to our 23rd question, a drug that is administered transdermally is one that Option A, act at or close to the skin area to which it is administered Option B, is injected into the muscle Option C, is applied to the epidermis Option D, is injected into the anus And the answer is Option C, is applied to epidermis Moving to our 24th question, hypodermis is which of the following? Option A, the outer layer of the skin. Option B, the inner layer of the skin. Option C, the superficial fascia and not regarded as a part of the skin. Option D, non-vascularized getting into nutrients by diffusion. And the answer is Option C, the superficial fascia and not regarded as the part of the skin. Moving to our 25th question, which one of the following cell type is responsible for forming the skin striatum corneum? Option A, melanocytes. Option B, keratinocytes. Option C, dermocytes. Option D, lymphocyte. And the answer is... Option B, keratinocytes. So that's all for today. If you need further clarification for any of the questions, do comment in the comment box. I'll be back with a new topic soon. So do subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.